The Health Service in East Lancashire needs your feedback and views on how we're doing so that we can improve the patient experience. There are a number of ways that people can come and talk to us. We as an organisation are making great efforts to actually go and talk and most importantly listen to patients because it's important that patients feel they can tell us what they think about our services, what's not quite right about our services and how we can make those services better and we will listen and we will take their points of view on board. Obviously we might not be able to change everything immediately but what we can do is that we make sure we take their points of view into account when we are planning changes and planning developments to our services. We've been out and about locally to find out what you think so that we can respond, review and resolve. I think the nurses are too much pressure on them nowadays because they've got too much paperwork and not enough hands on care. They ought to go back to the basics. Um, the basics have been forgotten about. One experience though is my daughter was ill a few years ago and she was in hospital for four, year, four months and it took a long while to diagnose what she had and she was like waiting about and you know it should have been done quicker. Even though it were about me they'd talk to my mum like I wasn't there and I, I am old enough to understand but they weren't very good people wise. Sometimes listen to you but sometimes they just tell you things you don't need to be knowing you know to be honest with you. There's just not enough staff, not enough staff on the ground and that's not the fault of the staff that are on the ground, that's a fault of funding in my view. I am 100% behind the National Health Service and always have been. We understand there's a high demand for physiotherapy. We're very, very busy, but we're trying to work through demand as best we can, but we're also trying to make sure that we have a high quality service for patients. It's difficult times at the minute and we're going through a lot of change at the Trust, but all the physio team are working together to ensure that we're easily accessible, we offer good quality service and the patient comes first. Is there anything you would recommend? Food. Better hospital food. Uh, my mother especially found she couldn't digest what was on offer. So I think more needs to be done in that area. They give you loads of help and the nerf you and everything, so... Uh, you had no problems? No, no problems. They're fast, easy to get to, um, patient with you, and they help you a lot. Improve radically seven day, 24 hour day coverage, right? Improve internal communications between the various clinics within the hospital. I think waiting's the issue on my part, you know, they're waiting too long. If people listen to each other, if patients could talk without being overawed by the Mr. Somebody or Dr. Somebody, um, Maybe if people who weren't patients, that were treating patients, put themselves in that position, maybe that might be better. Communication. One of the ways we've already responded to your views on how to make your health services better is by helping you to stay healthy at home. Virtual Ward is one new initiative that provides specialist care in patients' own homes. Well, Virtual Ward for us has been a new experience. An experience that I think would benefit the whole country if everybody had it, because that then it takes the onus off the person that's caring for the patient and it, it puts it onto someone else that knows what to do and can actually do it. It's helped me by taking a lot of work off Sheila for starters and I know once we run up virtual ward I'm going to get a good nurse who can diagnose what, what to do for me. I have an emergency pack of tablets which he'll suggest, which ones I take. Well, it's been fantastic, and I suggest anybody goes to the doctor first and ask him about virtual world. He must know something about it. So you get him in contact with them, and hopefully then they can start on the virtual world like I did. Tell Ellie means that East Lancashire listens, involves, and engages so that staff, patients, and the population in general can give us their feedback and we can make things even better. So help us to help you. Just get in touch and we'll listen.